very close to that blink dagger that you talk about. And he's 200 gold away. I want to make sure that he gets that safely. But also worth noting as well, as you said, because of Alliance's tools coming together, the Crimson Guard, they have got this pushing power. Good news for them is the fact that, as we can see network-wise, they're already very much individually at the top. And okay. still 3 2 on for the take. Bottom lane, S4. They're moving on to Ice Eye's side for the players. Wait, the from EGM. Ice Eye's just getting it. But it doesn't matter. Alliance will finish him off. S4 and EGM playing nice. Oh, Levin. Oh, he needs to buy the blink. Allies. He needs to spend his gold. I know he's chill. He knew he was fine. Moonlight Shadow's there. In fact, they may just turn this old chicken Jay's coming in. He had to jump in for another. But, uh. Some nice level of chill from Sand King, who doesn't panic by. He's got the GD home, holding away from him. And then over towards the top, Loader, at the moment, was out there. We can see a lot of warding from EM out here. They've got good vision at this area. They know the Loader is alone. This will be a good kill. Old Levin jumps in. We'll see if there's any backup. Arrow to follow for as well, Loader. Rather tanky, but now oh, Chicken jumping in with the bird. Can they save this man? They can't. He's going to go down, but Alliance, they're going to look to try and punish EHO for this play. Old Levin, and the man that looks to be out of level as well. Moonlight stay. Burrow strikes across. Does this still on him, though? Alliance will chase him down. They'll punish the Sand King play. Now, it is a one for one, EHO. Able to get the kill onto Loader. It's a pretty for six, but. As we see, just a little a lapse of concentration, little mistakes, and immediately the opponents will be there to punish. Bulldog trying to go in onto Old Lanham. He does have backup Old Lanham here. Fenrir and Old Lanham come across. Here I am. Roger set up an S4. Zipping in. Crimson Guard down. They have been trying to use the hand. Let's go. Okay, the bird is a lot on the Bulldog. There's still the Bulldog down with the S4. Falling apart here on this top fight. Aki falls back to base, and S4 had to head off to the side. E home. Kind of fading them in there with the Undying and Alliance, they're quick to bite and Eho moving in on that item pickup for Cole. I'll take that. The smoke from Eho. Well, Allies also the ready. So what kind of a jump in they get Moonlight to help them close the gap. No. Already though, Alliance trying to retreat but old 11, clipping <laughs> Ejim on the edge. Blow strike into Arrow. No hope for the Ogre. No. Eho. I'm one. They can get themselves anything else they are. Looking towards the call and indeed they caught him out. Ake will spend his gold. And he only can look for a second. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 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 Running low from Aki, trying to slow down the advance, but he knows. You walk down. He's very good at stun. The first of the building. So much damage coming out from this combo from Eho. There's no buyback. That's that, a full minute. That's a, a crystal back with 15k structures. net worth on him, and he disappears Dyer, just like that. That's, that's got to be terrifying. That is their only frontline hero. So EGM can do what he wants. Oh, oh what I did! I'm on Dyer's where did Radiant's middle tower go? Okay. Ehome! Dyer's top Just tower is under attack. Whatever they want, get straight back out. Just. Um, it's, it's, I mean, Ehome at this stage as well. Do they just group up and go down the mid again? Uh, are they waiting for Alliance to come out? I mean, if you're Ehome, surely you're not that scared at this point. They can illusion siege, if anything, right? They just keep disrupting ice, ice, ice. They send his illusions on the rain tracks. They kill that. And then if Alliance ever get out of position, all 11 gets a burrow. And potentially they can just take the fight from there. Alliance looking for some kind of wraparound. They will find Fenrir on the back line. This time they're doing the SD. They find one. I'm going to do that. And drop the line. Try and fight into it. They'll take the two and turn down.
Price with the triple. And the better calls, the better performance into the mid game. And now, absolutely miles ahead, 80 to 6. Already jumping in, jumping out, S4, coming in with the best. Oh, Watch out, remember me, I got all here and he walked it off. I'm quite getting out, okay. He's in trouble, no, Paul, he's with the ball, he's going off to two again. Alliance has got to run, has got to hide. They try to get himself back to base, but he's yeah, beat down the bar. They're losing heroes again and again, S4. Coming in, look at the ball, look at these glimmer cadets, they're just ruining the potential of S4 to lock someone down. And he home. They'll take the Renax down bottom as well. Bottom Back off. Loader coming in. Tried to do something about Ice Ice Dice, but they've only got three in here. Oh, Ripping Loader to pieces. Oh, and for a Bulldog. The last best standing. But it's only time to come back to Bulldog. Bring him down. GG is cool. And he home. Oh, let e the fun e begin. High potential there. Alliance, on the other hand, they are gonna be rotating up Ake. Okay. Gonna make a bit of a go on to Phantom Rare, looking towards the Shadow Demon, yet to skill now, skills the Disruption, holding back one of them, but Ake, looking to follow through, and he's gonna get himself first blood, Ake. Oh, so Set not rotation up towards the top lane. From Indeed, looking to punish e Home's weakness in this early laning stage that they have there, as you said, already gonna be a hard lane for the BSD and Sven to get stuff done in the early levels, and Alliance, they're able to, to make the most of that. What I'm laying though, on Levin, going in rather deep on to Bulldog. He's gonna hold that coming in as well, and Bulldog. Smite! The being trouble, Spirit into the stomp. One more touch from the Sand King. Ni home. Look to punish your lights <laughs> elsewhere across the map. S4's come down. Gonna look to start to stack up the napalm on Old Levin, and Old Levin, he's not got any points, of course, at this stage in Sandstorm. The S4 speed. with a good TP to make something <laughs> off the back of Bulldog's death. For a resub, and immediately, of course, gets it straight back out. Mid lane, as we can see, EGM and Ake ready in case he home jump in onto either load or S4, but it's not going to be the case. And now they themselves go for a play at the same time. Ice, ice, ice. Picking up himself a very hefty ancient stack. Alliance, they're going to come too late for the ancient, but they maybe have to punish him whilst he's low. And indeed, S4 jumps in. Ice, 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 down the side. The multi comes in as well. Load against the double kill. And a perfect bit of play there to give Alliance the boost that they need. Really good read from Alliance, knowing that that Zach is going on day farming game, and he's the one hero that you're looking at to say, okay, let's hit some buildings. But he hasn't really been uh, been doing that, just trying to get to the radiance as fast as he can. See the three members of Eho, and they really trying to find something to get the setup. To load out the center as well. They need to follow through. Does the Pepsi loaded jumps across the way? The very seven. Turning up as well. Takes down load the S4. In trouble. Flame breaks. Side, side, side. Away from him. Trying to hide in the trees. S4. Radiant Metal off. Tower is S4. under attack. Pulling Radiant have the fortified away from their structures. The objective. And they actually finish off the Killy Hunt. They're chasing him. They're going to have vision on him now. Old 11 gets the bone strike on. They will clean up the bone. Finish it. home. Evangelizing so much at this point. Coming out on top and, and consistently pulling off the play. Top. Oh, man. He's just going to drop the ult. The CP's coming through. They can kill Bulldog. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Absolutely oh. perfect. <laughs> and that was before he spent his relic gold. He's still got enough for the relic. If you want to fight. Wappy. Coming in. Old 11. Look at it. Jumped in mid. Scored out Bulldog. But Bulldog saved for the time being. And again, Elo using their tools but not finding the initial pickoff. I'm gonna stick around for the long haul, looking for EGM, he wanted to go jump in EGM at the same time. They've lost the Sand King, and another trade that Elias are gonna be very happy with. And Ehome just not hitting the exact combos that they need to in the in these fights. So they didn't get anything more though, still sticking around, jumping forward, pulled off. He wants a fall as well, but it's Savage Law, which is the back memory. We should just hold him in place with his trick, but I died, died! Radiant's middle tower can use some help! Chasing down from all the stock from all that is there. And look at the turn, jump in the open, the blade, blow to the start door. <laughs> Bursting them down quickly. Eom, recovering, recovering control of this fight. And Rhea, may he just stick down and he will. But Alliance. Not much good's happening to Radiant's bottom tower. They are bringing down members of Eom with them. But Eom getting a position on the high ground, ready to fight all. This could be paid for Alliance. Jump in the open, oh! And it may even be more again. Loader just goes for the BKB TP out. He's gonna make it. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. 
E-Home. Finding everything at E-Home. Oh, this game could be even more brutal for Alliance than Game 1, Andy. Uh, they are just relentless e home Like these Sand King initiations. Alright, we're, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Oh, Little Tower That's is under attack. Oh, man. As people have said, he has to be fortified. just playing like championship winners. Tower, so we'll have to take and this series has been no exception. Alliance knew that they were going to have a tough one fallen. coming into this matchup. Radiant's so know middle be are under attack. Probably after seeing Ehome's performance at the group stage. But here we have game two. Ehome looking to do serious amounts Radiant's of damage to Alliance's base. Fallen. Mid's being cleaned up, they're looking towards the bottom. Maybe Alliance can have one more Trenton final stance, back. and indeed they'll attempt it. Ed Bull jumps in on Tarnik, like Tarnik's bringing him back, but already oh, he's falling so low, and getting strong, Ed He's trying to get himself back as well under the cover of BKB. Eom head Radiant's back to hitting the tower. tower. Is no more. A bit of mercy as they back up now. Alliance, can they punish this at all? CGM trying to get some sort of latch out. It's what Old Chicken's Marana performance has been absolutely brilliant and the way that he's dealt with the way the alliance jump in you know we've seen s4 comes in grabs a hero brings him away from the team but immediately he, old chicken just jumps back in and oh 11 episodes going in immediately off the board oh, he's dead already they're beating on dire's top seconds out just like that e hope now with such a crisp movement, they Shepard, will kill the Radiant's just middle barracks. Back towards middle lane because they know that it's pushed in. Then it's somebody who's going to have middle to address it. Have just evil playing super well right now. Oh, and they got the oh, Radiant's okay, disappeared off the face of the earth. Best for trying to be attacking Radiant's bottom barracks. You have no place here. Can't be saved by Fenrir. I mean, disruption or not, he wasn't dying there for sure. Three dead on the lines. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Under the BKB, but he doesn't quite know what he can do with it here. As he's just got to get himself back to the fountain. Radiant's bottom barracks have fallen. 30 seconds before they have the final order. Is going to let their bottom barracks fall? The the old, the old. Oh, oh, oh. oh, a loader. Oh, he's still probably going to die. Oh, Chick, did he find him? No. He to managed to blink back. S4. Look to punish old Chick's positioning there. Old 11. Just teasing there, see if we can get a latch. S4. We can get something here, maybe looking for Old Chief, but Old Chief gets an Old Chief oh, in. Man. Kills off EGM. Feels like at this point, all it takes for E-Home is to just A click the base, and the game can be won. Jumping in again. Oh, oh, no. oh, he's going to carry S4. Get the latch off, but it doesn't matter. Just dragging E-Home closer to that game. up today you know, everything was perfect alliance gave them the heroes they wanted two games in a row <laughs>